Good morning everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today we're going to be working on a two page winter layout and I'll be using this um, die cuts with a view, the winter magic stack which has a bunch of blue wintery papers that um, are very pretty so I, I picked that up I don't know, last week or a week before so we're going to use that and I chose this color or this pattern for my background of my layout and what I started with is two little scratch papers of white cardstock and I just cut them with my scissors to give them some angle and I'm gonna go ahead and get these adhered and they are 12 by or 12 inches long and I just kind of chose a height this one is three inches and this one is um, an inch and three quarters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start getting these adhered and for my layout today I am using a SVG file from Scrapping Bug Designs and it's called When It's Cold Outside and I cut the, the file I left it at a hundred percent. In the Sure Cuts a Lot program, there is an option to scale down images. So they, you know, I know a lot of people probably when they design them, they design them on a bigger scale so they're easier to see. Um, but you can uh, scale it down by the percentage, and that will bring your whole whole image down. Um, and you can do it at eighty percent, ninety percent, fifty percent. It all just kind of depends what you're making it for, like if you're making it for a card. Obviously you're not going to put all of this on a card, but you may want one of the images of like a snowman or something. Then you could scale that down so that it would fit. Okay, so that's what we're starting with. And then I have my first cut, is this burr sign. And I'm going to kind of cover up this um, little mess I made. I inked all my edges of everything for the, like the very first time ever and mm, I'm not so sure I liked doing it. <laughs> I had to recut stuff because I went too far in my inking and whatnot, but we're just going to make it work for now. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this adhered. And I stuck with the colors that she used in her design. Pretty much with the green and blue. Okay, so we're going to place the sign right there. Like that. Then I have the snowman over here. He's going to go right down at the bottom of the page. I think I'll pop him up. And I forgot to grab my foams, so I'm just going to use these pop-up foam squares. Since they're right here in front of me. Um, if you have any questions on using Sure Cuts a lot and getting the um, images by percentage, um, just go ahead and leave me a comment and I will answer you to the best that I can. Being that it's over like email system or whatever, but I usually try to do my best. So for this, these are going to be my photo mats. And what I did is I took a piece of pink cardstock, because this is for my daughter. And that is by a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then this green paper is actually from the Cricut Imagine from the Enjoy the Seasons cartridge. And then I took the Martha Stewart Icicle Punch and punch the row of icicles at the top. Actually, I'm going to sneak this in the bottom right there. And then I have this other cut that's part of the file as well. And on the little center of the snowflakes, I used a little IROC gem. It comes in this kind of container from Imaginus. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's what those are. 
So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this little tag. Trying to see how I want them. Probably right there. Okay, and then this little thing goes on the snowman's hand, so I'm going to go ahead and get that adhered. And I'm just going to use some scratch quick dry, so it's like he's holding a snowflake. Before I forget. And I also use some pink twine and tied a little bow at the top, since the paper bow was so tiny. Just kind of made my own. Alright, and then our title for this it's going to be baby it's cold and then on the other page it's going to say um, outside like that and then we're going to go ahead and go <clears throat> to the right side of the page. This is the left side. Okay. So then there's our photo mats and our title and our other cut. So we're going to go ahead and adhere down the snow. Okay, and then we have the thermostat barometer, whatever you would call it. It's going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. So I'm going to be careful because I don't want to tear my image. Okay, so that's going to go right there. And then I have my photo mats. I have one that's going to go here, one that's going to go under here like so. Let's get that adhered. I always get ahead of myself and start adhering. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm going to line this up with my board here. Okay, and then we have this photo mat. So I have two four and a quarter by four and a quarter mats and two four by six mats. And so you could, let's see, right about there, and then we'll get our title on and then we'll be done. It's very fun doing this. If you haven't done SVG files, I would suggest giving it a try if you have the machine that will work. Um, it will only work with Scal 2.0. It won't work with Scal 3.0. Um, but if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. I always answer them. So that is the layout that I used, that I uh, made using the Scrapping Bug Designs, Baby It's Cold Outside, SVG file. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.